Hey guys, welcome to a video on how you can get 120 Herbal within 30 hours or less. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For those unaware, there are quite some ways to get 120 Herblore, and sometimes there are methods out there that are very, very cheap indeed off Double Experience Weekend, but sometimes methods are just expensive. Now this method can be expensive, but considering the experience per hour, it really isn't that expensive. Again, this depends on when you're watching this video and what the supply cost is. Now this method of training Herbal can get you on 20 in under 15 hours on Double Experience Weekend, which is just ridiculous. So what potions should you be making? Well, you should be making either bombs or power burst potions depending on the situation of the prices of items. The reason I would personally go with bombs is because bombs are a lot more chill to make as they require less items in the inventory. Here are two herbal or preset examples for making both bombs, in this case sticky bombs, and power bursts, in this case power burst of opportunity. One of the new potions added with the Orvin dig site, which by the way, you do have to learn a recipe for to create, which is around 15 million GP right now, I believe, or, or 10 mil, it, it, you know, it doesn't matter. It costs some money. Now, the most important thing with the B.O.B. familiar setup in the preset is that you put your materials in a sort of pattern. They must make sense. So if you're making a potion that requires a primal extract, phasmatite ore, third age iron, like I am in this preset example, you want to put them in that order because when you do grab items from your familiar's inventory, aka your beast of burden inventory, they will grab them in the order required, or you will grab them in the order required. If you don't do this, there's a chance you'll get a bunch of items randomly, like a bunch of primal extracts, and you'll only be able to make one potion before having to click take BOB again to grab the other necessary items to keep creating potions. Okay, first up, let's start talking about the bombs. Now, the great thing about bombs is you can create them, and while creating them, you can grab items from your Beast of Burdens familiar without actually interrupting the herbal creation process. That will add up to the potions created, or in this case, bombs created per hour. As you can see, I'm creating items, and I just click on my familiar icon, which can also be put on your action bar, by the way, and I just keep creating the bombs, which is quite a chill way of training Herblore. If you don't know how to set this up, simply right-click your summoning icon on your action bar, select Follow Interaction, and change the left-click option to take BOB. So how many bombs do you create per hour? What's the herbal level requirements? What's the potion experience and all that stuff? Well, have a look on screen. Now I was making about 2,760 bombs per hour and that was with double experience weekend lag. Meaning you could get more than the base up to 3 million experience per hour XP rate. As for GP per XP, it was around 10 GP per XP, but if you have that with double experience weekend, that means it was only 5 GP per XP to train on double experience a weekend. That is fairly cheap for 120 Herblore, or just Herblore training in general. That isn't accounting for the pulse cores, outfit boost, the well boost, and all other boosts, which will make this method even faster and make it cheaper per XP. Now, just like with the power bursts, it does depend on which bombs you're making and how expensive they're going to be. The resale value of some of the bombs are very, very low, but, What's even more important is the experience per hour can depend on your herbal level, and so can the GP per XP. At certain herbal levels, which is why you want to do these at World 84 or an area of a lot of people using pulse cores because you'll get the herbal level boost, you can create the bombs and power bursts faster. In addition to that, a few herbal levels later, you'll be able to create the potion, in this case the sticky bomb, using less ingredients or secondary ingredients. In the sticky bomb's case, instead of using two big snot and two diamond dinosaur claws per potion or per bomb, you'll be using one, which will save you a lot of money, especially if you're going to be making almost 100,000 of these bombs. Now with the power bursts, I made a little less per hour, around 2,050, because they are a little more annoying to make because of the amount of ingredients you need that aren't stackable in your inventory. However, they still are 2.1 to 3.3 million herbal experience per hour base without any boosts whatsoever. 
It's not like you need to create extreme versions beforehand, or even supers if you're an Iron Man, you can just hop straight in and create these. The only problem with these potions, including the bombs, is the buy limit on items like Beak Snot and Dinosaur Claws being limited to a thousand every four hours. But yeah, these potions are just such a great thing if you don't care about making a bunch of overloads for PVM, or if you already have 120 Herbal and you have thousands of overloads lying in your bank, and you just want to get to 200 million XP, these could be your best option because if you want to get there fast, power bursts and bombs are the way to go. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And honestly, it would mean a lot to me if you did. I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers. If I could get to 50,000 before the end of the year, I would be very, very happy indeed. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.